This is how I built my outdoor patio sofa. I started off with a few sheets of plywood that I had cut down to width at Home Depot. I brought those home and then began cutting them to length for the sides and back of the sofa. I then attached a small ledger board on the inside of both of the side pieces and the back piece. This will be the main support of the seat. I used a roll of tape to trace and then my jigsaw to cut out rounded edges on the sides. Then I attached all three pieces, the back and both sides together using pocket screws. Then I cut down and put in the base piece and attached that. I wanted everything to be a little bit thicker, so I cut additional pieces and attached them to each side. To finish off the raw plywood edges, I'm using some wood edge banding, and this gets applied with an iron. And this little trimming tool is used to trim it up. I gave everything a good sand and then went over with some white stain to mute some of the wood grain. Then I went over that with some weathered oak stain for some deeper color. Then I gave the whole thing four coats of this outdoor urethane and marine sealer. To keep my costs low, I decided to make my own cushions also. I made a simple box cushion for the seat and added a zipper so that I can remove that and wash it easily. I used four pieces of memory foam and stacked them together, wrapped them in batting, and then stuffed them inside of my cover that I made. I also made some back cushions and some bolster cushions. And here it is, it's actually so comfy. This cost me about $600 to make, and this is the sofa that I was inspired by that was way out of my budget. And personally, I think mine looks even better.